Welcome back to my learning block. We are here today to learn about identifying quadrilaterals. Yes, I love talking about polygons, love talking about shapes. Don't know if you can tell it on my face. This is my happy face. Like Steven Seagal type thing. All right, well anyway, quadrilateral, what are they? Well, a quadrilateral is, as you can see, a polygon with four sides and one, two, three, four, four angles. If you look at all of these polygons, they all have four sides, one, two, three, four, and four angles, one, two, three, four, and they all do, trust me, even this little weird one has one, two, three, four, and then it has an angle here, angle there, angle there, angle there. So again, polygon with four sides and four angles. Um, now today we're going to focus on parallelograms. Now try to say that word five times fast. All right, so your child is now in a process in which they are not only just identifying squares and rectangles, but they are identifying parallelograms and what they are and what they mean to quadrilaterals. Well, to be honest, parallelograms pretty much sum up a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral is either a parallelogram or a non-parallelogram. And it, it fits in those two types of uh, two types of categories, then from there you can kind of subset it even more. So a parallelogram is a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. That is a terrible line, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. So it has two pairs of parallel lines. But if we're gonna talk about parallel lines, look at me, chicken scratching. All right, if we're gonna talk about parallel lines, what are parallel lines or what are parallel sides? I'm glad you asked, that's a very good question. Well, a parallel side are lines running side by side, never crossing, having the same distance between them forever and ever and ever. Like, seriously, um, this not parallel, they intersect, right? They cross. If you had a line doing like this and a line doing like this, they're not parallel because sooner or later they are going to cross. What you need to let your child understand, I'm sure they've already checked out parallel lines and I'm sure you have already checked out parallel lines so you can be more up to date, upbeat with it and understand how to help them. But parallel lines, they never cross, they never meet. I'll try to do this as best as possible. Yes, they will never cross, never meet, um, and they're continuous forever unless they're line segments or rays, and they can also be parallel in that state, but the sides are running and they never cross, and they never will cross. And a parallelogram has two sets of these, which means it goes on forever. Now, it brings us to our next thing about parallelograms. Now, what are parallelograms? Parallelograms in themselves can be classified by three of the basics that we're gonna talk about here. Um, they, a parallelogram is a rectangle, or a rectangle is a parallelogram. Um, a rhombus is a parallelogram, and a square is a parallelogram. All three of these objects have two pairs of parallel sides, and, and that's pretty much the definition of a parallelogram. So if someone ever asks your child to classify, if their teacher asks them to classify a rectangle, square, or rhombus, they should know that those are all parallelograms first, then they can be a rectangle. But, but not all parallelograms are a square or not all parallelograms are a rectangle or parallelograms are um, a rhombus. So that's kind of tricky, it's a little difficult. Um, so all of these shapes are parallelograms. I know it's up there, I just like writing it. This is a weird word. And I spelled it right. So all of these shapes are parallelograms. However, how is it? Not all of them, it only, um, a rhombus is not a rectangle, right? So a rhombus and a rectangle aren't the same, but they are 
parallelograms. It's great with categorizing things. Um, now, what are non-parallelograms? Any shape, any quadrilateral that your child recognizes that does not have two pairs of parallel sides. A tricky one is this first one right here, this trapezoid. Um, notice that these sides right here are not parallelograms. Sooner or later, they'll meet somewhere down here and they'll intersect and cross, which shows that they are not parallel. Even though it does have one pair of parallel sides, it needs two. This shape right here is not even a quadrilateral, right? Even though it has one pair of parallel sides, but it's not a quadrilateral. If you took this triangle off and brought it straight down like that, then it'd be a parallelogram, um, but it's not. Uh, this shape, again, you have no pairs of parallel sides. And this shape, yes, it is a quadrilateral. Cause you see one, two, three, four, and one, uh, two, three, three, and then this is the angle right here, four. Um, but it's also a non-parallelogram. So when you're working with your child, these are certain things that you can know so you can better help them out um, and they can become geniuses with regards of identifying parallelograms, quadrilaterals with two pairs of parallel sides. Thank you again for joining me on my learning block. I look forward to seeing you next time and keep learning with me. Thank you.